Well, there, there's the Library of Parliament. Now, that, that was recently uh, 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 conserved. Now, I, I was not the project manager of that. I, I, I was for a very short period of time, a long time ago. But uh, for that actual conservation, I, I, I was not. But uh, they did a lovely job. And it's, uh, you know, the library, that, that dates back to 18, uh, well, starting in 1859, the, the, the hiring of the architect. And, uh, but it's a different generation of building than the center block. The center block is 1916. This is the 1860s, or 1870s. And it was a different kind of building, much more colorful. And that's called polychromatic. And you can see the different colors in the library, the, the red Potsdam sandstone over the windows. And the, uh, the project team who worked on that uh, have chosen a, a, a red colored mortar around that red over the windows and that red stone. And in the rest of the stone, that's in the, pea, the rest is in the pea and sandstone, they've chosen a very dark mortar, almost a black mortar. It's lovely. The roof, of course, was replaced, and it's gone brown now. It was, it was nice, bright, shiny for three or four months, but it's, it's brown now. And when that roof is, uh, I've got a son who's uh, 19 now. I, ex I imagine when 10 years from now he's going to be married, and when his children are 20, so that's 30 years from now, and if they're if, so if my grandchildren, when they're adults, they're walking around here just like we are today, that roof will be apple green just like, uh, just like the other roofs on our parliament buildings. You see that tower there that I'm pointing at, yes. the tower? Yeah. There's a lovely uh, wooden, a uh, lovely um, stair, a spiral staircase in there. You, tourists will ne never get to see it. It's, it's off, uh, off the, uh, the beaten track, so to speak. But it's a, an, an old, old, back to 1860s, 70s kind of staircase, and uh, a really nice wooden handrail. And uh, it's been conserved as part of that project. It's a great job. Before industrial pollution, before the industrial age, um, the air quality, we didn't have, there, there, there was no acid rain. And copper roofs uh, behave quite differently. They wouldn't go green. And in fact, the, um, a copper roof would stay bright and shiny for maybe 30 years and would start to go brown. And brown would be the end state of a, of a copper roof before the industrial era. Bruce, I'd like to go over to the statue there. That's, that's, uh, where the, where, see the statue there where the uh, tourists are? Yeah. That's the uh, statue of Sir John A. Macdonald. That's Sir John A. up on top of the statue. And, uh, and as I mentioned before, um, statues were very high in those days. And when you got up close, it was very awkward to look at the statue. And so they put allegorical figures at the bottom. And uh, now next to that woman in green, there, there's a, that's an allegorical figure. Her name is, her na she actually has a name, it's Dominion. Her name is Dominion, and she represents the Dominion of Canada. And we were talking about uh, conservation of statues before. This was the very first statue that we conserved, and we started off with the allegorical figure. So she was the very first uh, um, element that was conserved. And I want to show you um, the base of the flagpole that she's holding in her left hand. So let's, let's take a look at it. Let's go over there and take a look. So you can see here on her knees and on her, her, her dress, on her toenails and toes, all of this is where people have been touching. And this we've uh, carefully preserved as we conserved this statue. So this was not repatinated and it was kept. We kept this to show this interaction with people. But I wanted to show you, <coughs> excuse me, I want to show you the flagpole. And it's way down here at the base. What, you know, if you can take a close look here, the, the flagstaff is quite different from here to here compared to the rest. See, this is much greener. You see that? 
than this, which is more brownish. This, this is very similar to the rest of the statue, but down here it's quite different. What's happening there is our conservator, this was the very first statue that we did, and our conservator simply cold wa hot waxed and then cold waxed this area here. He didn't patinate that green with the uh, chemically pure form of liver of sulfur, like, like we would do. So he just did this, and up here, he patinated the, the green, and then hot wax and cold wax it. And he showed, uh, uh, I was here on, with a meeting when I had my project team here, and we had art experts on, I had art experts on my team from the House of Commons and Public Works and the National Gallery and private sector. And my conservator asked us, which do we prefer? Do we prefer this, or do we prefer this? From his perspective, each was very fine from a conservation point of view. And we all thought this is what we preferred from a visual point of view. And so all of the rest of the statues were conserved by repatinating the only the green corrosion and then followed by the hot wax and the cold wax like we talked about earlier. But we maintained this here. We kept this as part of the story of this statue. And so when, um, when I'm giving tours, when I used to give tours, I would, uh, I, I would, I would point out that and, and tell people the story of how, how we came to choose this particular appearance. But that, that portion of the staff will stay that way forever. We'll keep, we'll maintain that slight difference. Pwede bang umpo? Yeah, hindi pwede.